Hey, what's up guys? It's me, Cam, and today I'm at the Santa Clara Regional Qualifier event. It is a beautiful Saturday. This is my second regional that I've ever attended, and I wanted to get a video. The first one I went to was at the San Jose Regional. You can check that out here if you are interested in watching it. I'm even wearing the same exact shirt that I wore last time. So I got the same kind of energy going on. I'm super fired up. I absolutely cannot wait to see what we have going on. We got the whole crew out here representing Santa Rosa. I'm playing a Melfi Sprite deck. I'll probably do a little uh, little showcase of that right now. Oh, hell no, man. What the fuck? A lot of newer decks coming out. Super Heavy Samurai, Purely, uh, Math Mech, whatever. It'll be, it'll be an interesting time. So um, let's go ahead and get into round one. Mikey you fat? We have 362 players in attendance. We will have nine rounds of Swiss Damn. Oh, 362 people that don't got bitches. Yu-Gi-Oh players, welcome to round one. You have 45 minutes. You may begin. Are you starting now? Yes. All right, we just finished up round one, and uh, I was playing against a nice gentleman from the area playing a purely deck. Purely is uh, a deck that I haven't gotten much practice against, but I feel like I made the correct plays in, in the matches. Uh, unfortunately, we lost. Ended up going into game three. I set up my board. I give him a nice Nightmare Corruptor Ibley. I'm like, here you go. This is for you, mister. And he pauses. He thinks for a second. And then he just goes, tribute summon over Santa Claus. Woohoo! And everyone's looking over. I'm just like, God damn it. Like, you gotta be kidding me. And he, you know, does his thing. He... Gets that fat cat on the field, uh, Noir. I didn't. I didn't have anything to out it, um, and it's coming down to the last. You know, a couple minutes or so. You know, I, I hadn't used starter either, so we were tied in life points. But it just came down to um, him just chipping away everything, spinning my stuff back to the bottom of the deck. I, he just you know attacked over it normally. I took like you know seventeen hundred damage or something, and then time was called. So we didn't end up winning the first game, unfortunately. Uh, about to go in the next round. I'm getting kind of hungry. You know, last time I brought a couple snacks. The only thing I brought this time was some peanuts and some water. So uh, at some point I'm gonna have to get some food. But um, for now, about to go into round two. I'll see you guys uh, after when I when I win that one. Yeah. One hour later. What's up, guys? I'm back. Uh, I, got, I found some food. God damn. Round two. Round two, I play against Natura Rune. And this deck is a little scary, but there was one card in my deck that just carried me the whole way, and that was Nightmare Corruptor Ibli. Summoned on him first game, couldn't special summon, couldn't get anything from the extra deck, so he just passes it over to me, and then he, well, he sets all of his Runic cards face down, because he can't special summon. Next turn, I just pop him one by one, attack, attack, I had Gamma Burst in hand, I was able to just one-shot him. Game two, I had basically a play set of Gammas in hand, and he didn't really have anything either, but he just had the Sunflower, and he was just attacking me for 500 with the Sunflower over and over and over again, and it was just like drawn out way too long, and I'm like, We're, we gotta get to game three, it's probably gonna come close to the time, so around 15 minutes or so, I said, you know, scoop, let's move to game three. Game three comes around. My opening hand is gorgeous, all right, gorgeous. I get out the Ibli Lock um, on his side of the field, and then I have a, um, I have a carrot on board, so a spell trap negate. He normal summons the Mole Cricket. And then on summon, I chain Solemn Judgment. So he has no way of linking it off into uh, the Donner for Hire card and keep the Ibli on the field. And he sets all his stuff again, passes it over to me, going to my turn. He can't use Mole Cricket because uh, Ibli's on the field. He couldn't activate any of his cards to special summon. Unicorn, try to pop some of his back row. Um, and then when he, when he had one left, I just chained uh, Cosmic, Cosmic Cyclone, got rid of it, and um, it was coming really close to the time, and it was like two minutes left, and I lost 4,000, I had lost, <laughs> I had lost, I was down to 3,000 life points, and the last two minutes is like reading the cards like, what does this one do again, what does this one do, hmm, mm hmm, like, I'm like, bro, like, <laughs> you better, you better hurry, you better hurry up, I'm about to one-shot you, so um, I think he scummed to the pressure and finally was just like, okay, like, Continue going. I summon off. I summon Jet. Grab Gamma Burst, and um, I was able to attack enough for game. So it squeaked out at the very last second. Nishari Runic is definitely a scary deck, uh, as it is. So um, I'm happy that I was able to at least conquer and go into this uh, round three feeling confident. Not sure what's going to come up next, but I guess we'll we'll find out soon enough. 
12 seconds later. All right, you guys, just finished up round three. Uh, match was over in like 10 minutes. Um, so I was playing against Mathmech. And uh, this deck's a little scary because it, it just has so many hand traps and you can just one card combo, you know, summon off of whatever. But I opened pretty, pretty nice. Uh, first game, summons Alan Bersham, a Gamma. He normal summons Firewall Guardian, links and links and links. Makes the Heat Soul and just draws. Doesn't set any back row, just draws, sets a, and, and passes. My turn, he activates the effect again and draws. Probably shouldn't be doing this in like a place where people are actively walking. Um, but I was able to just summon out a bunch of stuff and um, sprint, bounce back, heat soul. And uh, I didn't even need to add Gamma Burst. I just had enough on the field to deal 6,000 points worth of damage. Just got through the first round without any struggle. It was pretty nice. Second game, he makes the giant Firewall Dragon Terahertz and pitches the, pitches the one that does the spell trap negate. I activate Starter, and he he negates it, and then activates Starter to send another Speller Trap to the graveyard. I activate Triple Tactics Talents next, and then I steal his giant 8,000 attack dragon, and then just say like, Battle Phase game. And he was like, wow, like, I'm not even gonna lie, that was pretty sick, like, I can't even get upset about that. So, thing was over in 10 minutes, we just hung out and traded cards afterward, it was pretty, pretty, pretty cool. Um, yeah, I didn't, didn't think I was going to win against Mathmech. I haven't been able to, you know, really have much luck against it so far. So, having a good time, eating some fruit, and uh, we'll see you guys after round four. Two hours later. All right, just finished up round five. Uh, I didn't report on the last round because uh, I had to go straight into the next match. So, round four, I went up against this guy. He's like, hey, man, it's my, it's my second ever time playing a tournament. I'm like, cool, man, that's awesome. And uh, he didn't have a deck, ma uh, he didn't have a play mat or anything. Uh, he's, he was playing Eldritch. And I, I lost because uh, Skill Drain is a card. Don't you feel a little ashamed? So, and I just drew all, uh, all sprite cards uh, that, you know, have effects and stuff. Sprite cards are small. They cannot beat over the giant Golden Lord. Uh, couldn't get... Uh, couldn't get cosmic or uh, smashers or anything. Just kept drawing small little little boys. Uh, so lost against Eldritch, uh, which I didn't really anticipate happening today. But you know, whatever. Um, round five just got out. Uh, my opponent didn't show up, so I got the free win. Still X two now. Uh, three two. If I all I gotta do now is um, win. The next four rounds in a row and then I will make the top qualifying cut and if not then I'm gonna get some some nice Korean barbecue it's that time of the day you know or I'm kind of ready for a nap but um, I'm gonna try and push through maybe see if we can win a few more rounds and you know make it a make it a worthwhile trip out here so let's go ahead and see what happens next a few moments later all right guys we're no longer at the venue because we lost so we're here eating Korean barbecue with some fellas, we're all uh, we're all tired and hungry, and we're ready to eat some good food. So it was a good time. Uh, it, it was not a good time. It was horrible. I wasted more money today than I would have made. Yes. But hey, uh, you know, it's, it's not too often that a regional comes around near your hometown, so it was cool to see everybody get out there. And uh, anyway, I'm gonna eat. Like and subscribe. <laughs> Bye.